Alright, I've got a new update to the Crappy OS 5 library. There's actually a bunch of updates, so I'm going to have separate videos for all the new pieces, um, and there's a lot more actually coming. Um, but uh, I have made a lot of changes to the library in order to make these available. Um, so the first one that's coming is a new enhanced uh, responsive swing. Um, and we've actually had the swing responsive swing using swing speed uh, since OS 3.9. That was actually the first responsive effect we had. Um, so typically, uh, just to kind of go through it, so right now there's no swing being applied. There's no effect on the blade. So no matter how I move the blade, it's going to stay. This is just a regular blue blade. It's going to stay the same. Um, but now, in the library, there's, um, on top of being able to now choose the new swing, which I'm going to show in a minute, you can also toggle the swing effects on and off. So um, in OS 4, we had the force boost, which was a temporary 30-second um, swing effect whenever you used a force. Um, now there's actually a force toggle, and there's going to be a toggle on and a toggle off. Um, so this one is the toggle on, which means it defaults, starts without any swing effect. If I use my force effect, I'm going to get a swing effect applied, and it's going to stay on permanently. So the force boost was timed, so it would run itself out. The force toggle stays active until you use the force again, and then you can toggle it back off. Um, but this is going to be the original swing effect. So the original swing effect... If you notice, every kind of movement would break. Now, this is a white blade, so based on the speed of your blade, that blade starts to turn white. And really fast, obviously, gets total white, and then a little bit of speed actually gets a little bit of a white effect um, at medium speed. Um, and that's the original responsive swing. Um, but now with the enhanced swing, what I wanted was something that actually didn't respond to these little movements. Um, and I did show a preview on my new uh, update to the... Uh, fire uh, to the flame control style um, but so this is the original um, now with the new enhanced swing it actually gives you the ability for swing speed but it's going to let you move your blade around without having this effect always apply so these little movements right now are getting white applied to them um, even though it's just kind of a little bit of a change um, but if you don't want that that's where the new enhanced swing comes in um, so let me switch over so now, this is also a uh, force toggle on, so right now, regular blue blade, now I'm going to use the force effect, so I've toggled it on, but now I can move my blade around, and you'll notice it's not turning white, it has no white at all with little movements. The enhanced swing it ignores small, uh, slower movements of your blade, so it lets you use your blade normally, and then it's going to enhance only the faster swing, so now, when I swing really fast, I'm going to get the white, and it's still being applied responsibly, so if you have a medium fast, it'll be a little bit white, and then really fast goes to the total white. Um, but the nice thing about the enhanced swing is you do have normal movement of your blade without getting that white effect. Um, and some of the effects in particular, you don't always want that uh, swing effect being applied just by because you're moving your blade around, um, just in normal use or, you know, just for show, uh, but you do want to have that kind of enhancement on really quick swings. Um, and all of this is adjustable, so you can change the thresholds, but what's happening is the new enhanced swing, it actually scales the swing based on the speed, but it ignores the low end. So this will ignore any speed of a swing below about 250. Um, and then once you get over 250, it's going to go based on the percentage of speed over 250 where it applies that white. So you can still get the full range of kind of a little bit of white all the way to full white. Um, but now it's only going to be, if you have any kind of speed on the blade, normal movements won't apply it. Um, so it's just a new version. Um, it is a nice enhancement. It's actually something I kind of prefer, um, but everybody has their own taste. But now you can choose in the library, you're going to have the option under responsive swing to choose the original, which applies all the time, or this new enhanced version, um, which only applies at quick speeds. Um, and you're going to have the force toggle on off, so you can see really quick swings right now. If I do my force effect... It gets rid of that effect, so you don't have to have it always on, which was one of the other things that some people like, some people don't like. Um, now you can have it in your style, and you can choose to toggle it on or toggle it off, um, and it's all just controlled by using the force effect. Um, so that's going to be in the library now. It's a new option, and you can choose through all the uh, parameters. Um, and then in addition... Along with this update, I've also updated some of the swing effects, and it was just to kind of make them a little bit better. Um, so this is, right now, just a regular red blade, and then, again, this is using force toggle on, so now I'm going to toggle on an unstable swing, and it's going to be with the enhanced version, so that it still doesn't apply automatically. So I can move this blade around, and you see it's just a normal, 
And then now, when I swing this blade really fast, you'll see that unstable effect appear, and it's only momentary. So it's kind of just gives you a nice, unique swing. So that's the unstable, and I've changed the unstable swing. I've changed a few of those responsive swing effects just to make them work a little bit better with the enhanced, but also just some small improvements. Um, so they are a little bit different um, in terms of the style code versus the older version, um, but I think they look a little bit better. Um, in particular, because we wanted to be able to work with the enhanced swing, I had to change a few of them up. So that's going to be the unstable swing. So that's just a regular red blade. There's actually no flicker on it even, and then it has an unstable swing applied. And then if I deactivate using the force effect, I go back to my regular swing. And then lastly, this is, um, I've done an update to the responsive edge. So um, all of the effects so far, they've been full blade, which is an option you choose in the swing effects. Um, this one, again, is going to be a force tire on, so there's nothing. Um, but with responsive edge, what responsive edge does is, based on the speed of your swing, it's actually going to activate further and further down the blade until it gets to about halfway. Um, so the effect is going to be, if you're swinging medium speed, it's going to be about, you know, a quarter of the way down. If you're swinging full speed, it'll go halfway now. Um, but right now it's deactivated again using force toggle. So that's the force toggle. And again, this is using the new enhanced swing. So it's not going to do anything at normal, at regular movement. But as soon as I swing fast, you'll see that tip turns white. And how far down that white's going to appear is based on how fast you're swinging. So a little bit versus really fast. And again, you can apply, I'm applying white just because it shows up on the camera really well. Um, a lot of the other effects look better in person and the camera kind of washes them. Um, but this just shows you um, the responsive edge now has a new adjustment to allow it to work with the enhanced swing. Um, that way you get that full movement. So medium comes halfway, or comes a quarter of the way, full speed goes half, and it's anywhere in between based on that actual speed. So all of these effects um, and updates are now on the library. Um, I've actually just published it, so if you just got something even earlier today, it wasn't there. Um, this was actually a really large update. Um, that's why it's taken me a while. I've done a lot of, uh, some of it's just small fine tuning. Um, but a lot of it I had to change structural, uh, some how the styles are put together in the library just to be able to add some other features, which I'm going to have in the other videos. Um, definitely check out the other videos. I've got videos on the new compound colors, um, which I've discussed a few times, but if you haven't heard about them, they're going to be available for your clash, your blast, and your lockup. Um, and then I also have some new styles, as well as some other new enhancements that are being added to the library. Um, there's actually still more stuff I haven't had a chance to add, but the library is getting a really big update today. Um, and then as I get time, I'll get to that next update. Um, now, uh, typically, uh, there is a donate button on my uh, library. Um, I do have some people who have donated, and I'm very appreciative. Uh, this was a very large update. So if you have it in you, if you like what you see, if you're taking a lot of styles, um, a, do a donation would be appreciated. It's not required. I understand times are tough. Everybody spends a lot of money. Um, but this was a, a lot of work for this last update in particular. Um, plus, as the site gets more traffic, um, uh, Amazon, uh, my hosting service, has been asking for a little bit more money every month. Um, so if you're able to do it, I very much appreciate it. If you're not, there's still no requirement for it. Um, the Style Library is open to everybody with a profi board. Um, but just because of all the work that's gone in over these past several weeks to get to this point, um, I just wanted to you know, say anybody who really likes what they want and can spare a couple bucks, I do appreciate it. So. Thanks everybody, um, enjoy either way, and check out the other videos for all the new enhancements on the library, and check out the new styles and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, enjoy.